Hey everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be doing a stalker, Protoss stalker, obviously. Um, I haven't been very active lately, all well, this week, because I've been fixing my shit up for uh, applying for Adobe. They have a position open for graphic designer, so um, I'm uh, taking my shot there, see how that goes. So, um, yeah. <laughs> The past couple of days have been a pain in the ass. I had to, uh, me and my friend had to fix up a website from scratch and I had to do, find a resume I liked and write it and write it in two languages. And it was just, uh, I just didn't have time for anything really. Yesterday I worked for 12 hours on fixing my stuff up. Anyway, enough of that. Um, a lot of people have asked for the stalker. I don't know why because it's a very simplistic uh, character I mean there's not going to be that much to say about it really um, it all looks the same it all has the same it's made of metal so it has the same texture all over um, but I guess I'll try to come up with things as we go along so I'm just doing my initial sketch now um, this is going to be useful for people that have watched my shading tutorial to see how like uh, how I treat concave edges and round surfaces because that's what the stalker is mostly made of it's just a bunch of uh, metal parts <coughs> you know the the classic tubes and rings that everyone uh, knows and loves so I'm just doing my initial sketch it's all going well as you can see uh, I'm starting to look like a stalker should and the only thing I found semi difficult about the stalker was uh, well not nothing is difficult about it really it's just a lot of it takes a lot of time I did a bunch of experimenting on this drawing with different kinds of pencils like uh, so woodless graphite to see how it goes that's an HB right there um, it's okay for small stuff but it started annoying me when I get to shading larger areas it's just it's just not good enough uh, texture is kind of meh, at least on this paper. <coughs> so um, then I use different hardness pencils just to see how things go with them. In the end, I, en I uh, used my classic seven short 7B and then I went to the 4B for the smaller, smaller details. <laughs> I'm almost out of that pencil. It's so tiny now. It's going to be uh, pretty bad when I run out of it. I'm just hoping that the post office doesn't send the my new pencils back because they have a habit of doing that. They uh, they lose my shit and they all they or they send it back. It's happened plenty, but uh, that's what this country brings forth with it. It's uh, it's not so great if you want to order stuff from uh, from the U.S. especially. So I'm just trying out different pencils now, trying to see like what I'm comfortable with. Uh, the reason I did that, and I have no idea where the hell those stains came from. It's just I swear I didn't spill anything on it. It must have been something on my desk that got through the paper. Those are grease stains, and I, there was nothing greasy on my desk because I always check before I I started drawing. But that was weird. Maybe it's poltergeist or something. Who knows? Anyway. Uh, the reason I, I did the whole experimenting thing was because the stalker is just so bland in terms of texture that I, d I decided to see like you know usually I don't experiment I know what I go with from the start but in this case I wanted to see like if if indeed the, my choice of pencils was wrong or if I'm too hard-headed to to switch to something else but now and <laughs> eventually I I was right I mean I, I do like the 7B and the 4B most of all and I'll, I'll probably not switch from those anytime soon. So the stalker, as the Dark Templar has uh, a lot of like rings and jewelry and decoration and stuff on it, uh, but other than that, it's it's just very even planar surfaces, and those are pretty easy to shade. This video took about two hours in total. So it's shorter than usual. I mean, I kind of sat around, played around with stuff to make it feel like I actually did some work. But if I was in a rush, I would have gone through it probably in an hour because it's just so so flat. Everything about it is flat. 
probably um, I think I'm gonna do the um, Colossus next maybe the challenge is that and that is because it has uh, a lot of long really long limbs so freehand they're a bit more challenging to get right than uh, at least short limbs because you can always like you know when you draw for a long time and you your eye gets used to stuff it's uh, it's harder to see what's correct and what isn't on your paper so the colossus is probably going to be a bit more fun to draw than than this character but a lot of people wanted it and i guess i'm just a pushover so i did it anyway <clears throat> i mean it does look cool i think it does look kind of cool it's it's not like boring or anything it's just when I draw something, I like to to have a lot of diversity in it. I like to have like that's why I draw Zerg because you can Zerg, Zerg damn my pronunciation's off because you can um, just experiment with a lot of things and like improvise a lot and add extra spikes and extra stuff. But on characters like this, where they're just they're more technical than anything, it's I find it harder to improvise. And I know some people are gonna say, uh, yeah, but you can add the uh, extra. Uh, plates and whatever, but it's just not the same thing. <clears throat> Sometimes improvising isn't the best thing you can do when something looks good on its own, like, you know, a creature that is organic and very uh, irregular and very spiky and nasty like Zergar, then, you know, you can never go wrong with too many improvs, but on a character like this, which is supposed to be nice and smooth, adding a, lo a lot of extra stuff just kind of ruins it in the end if you don't know when to stop so right now I'm doing the leg in the back and as per usual I don't make it as detailed as the other ones and um, now I'm doing the front one which is again it's very simplistic I mean compared to the Dark Templar and the, the humanoid sort of units uh, the stalker isn't really as decorated as the others are I guess uh, Blizzard thought of that just to show that, you know, machines can't really be as personalized as uh, as humanoids can, especially the Dark Templar, since they're part of a different race, so they have a lot of embellishments and uh, jewelry and extra decorations on them. They're more individualized, so, so to say, compared to Zealots and Stalkers and the typical units. So I'm just trying to do my best to show like the concave surfaces, as you can see on the the hovering plate on its left. Um, I darken the insides of the curves just to show that hey, there is you know there's no light there and there's a darker surface because it's going away from the viewer. So it's all it's all really just basic stuff that I mentioned in uh, in the shading video nothing really special. I guess the cloth was the most fun part to draw on this character because it was the only thing that's not shiny, flat, and mechanical. First off, I, I don't know why I looked at it when I was done with it and hated it, but then once I looked at it a few more times it looked kinda okay. I don't know why I disliked it, it's just because it, it didn't impress me as as much as other characters do, you know. I guess I'm. I just get very attached to what I draw. So when something isn't impressive on its own, uh, it just doesn't. The drawing of it doesn't impress me as much as it would if I found the character fascinating. Personally, of course, I'm. I don't know what you guys like or find fascinating, but some characters are just more interesting than others to me. The stalker just seems sort of a plain unit, you know. It's a basic unit. It's it's not fantastic. It's not special in any way. It's just sort of a cannon fodder, if you would call it that. So there was really not much else to say about this uh, this drawing except doing the same thing over and over again, shading metal surfaces. It's always the same. Nothing special to it. Just grab the blending stump after the the pencil layer and just smudge all of it and then try to erase out the highlights and that's about it. So I'm sure this wasn't very educational and I'm very aware of that but uh, I still hope you enjoyed it and 
I'm gonna get back to hoping that Adobe hires me now. So I'll see you in my next video. I don't know what it's gonna be, either a tutorial or uh, or drawing one of those two. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'll see you then. Bye.